After two years of hard work and a summer of waiting, results day is here, with emotions running high among students, their families and friends, as they get to find out how they've done. Well, I got 9A stars today, and I'm just completely shocked, like I wasn't expecting it at all. Fantastic result, must have been a lot of hard work. Oh yeah, it was definitely, I mean, it was all about the studying really. I mean, I started back in January and it was just really hard work the whole way. And I'm just excited now. And <laughs> um, 80 stars and two eights in total. Excellent result, a lot of result, a lot of hard work. Yeah, obviously, like, I see that the hard work's paid off. Like, I didn't expect it at all because I looked at the grade boundaries last night and they were really high, so I was, like, preparing for the worst. But, no, I'm really, really happy. Uh, past all of them. Uh, three A's, two B's and the rest are C's. But, overall, I'm happy. I got a pass for everything. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've got three A stars, one A, four B's and three C's. Expected less, but... Turned out for the better. Yeah, I've got a B for health and social care and a C for. Well, so, what are you going on to next? Um, level three, hopefully. Better than I expected. In what way? In passing English. I've passed. I've passed six, and I'm open mood. I couldn't be happier. Yeah. And uh, what did you What did you get, Ntosa? I've got an A, B, and then five Cs. So I um, couldn't be happier. I got seven A stars, an A and two Bs. I've got five A stars, three A's and a B. <laughs> and how are you feeling about it? I'm really excited. Quite happy with it. What have you got? A star, A, four B's and two C's. Very good. And um, what are you, what's, what's next for you? What do you plan to do next? Stay in school and do A levels. I want to stay here and carry on my education. Bayside School saw a 62% pass rate in grades A star to C, a welcome rise of 4% from last year, with particular success in art and design and English literature. Well, we're very pleased, we're very satisfied because we've done better than last year, which is always, uh, you know, which is always welcome news. Uh, we've actually uh, managed to improve our grades from last year at this initial stage by four percentage marks. Uh, last year, I remember, we had 58% as I said, at this initial stage, and then eventually it went up to 61 uh, after the remarks. Uh, this year, we've started on 62%, and I'm quite confident that um, by the time we finish with our remarks and our appeals process, uh, that will go up as well. So obviously, it's a welcome improvement. In fact, um, I've just been on the phone to our head teacher, Mr. Skinner, who, much as he would have liked to, he can't be here today because of personal reasons, he's away in the UK. But he's also very, very happy, very satisfied. And um, he's asked me, please, to um, thank, uh, first of all, to congratulate the students on their achievement and also to uh, congratulate the staff and thank them, especially because of their efforts throughout the year. We must bear in mind that uh, teachers uh, tend to give up lots of their time, um, you know, giving extra help to, to the boys, uh, giving up lunch times, staying on after school, uh, laying on extra revision sessions which generates a lot of marking as you can imagine but obviously they've had a major impact in making this possible so a big thank you to them as well and you mentioned there the uh, the, the, the past week and the, uh, some uh, exceptional results as well yes we've had a few boys um, there's one in particular Max McGiffin whom I believe you've interviewed already he's got nine A stars which is a fantastic achievement we've had other boys I think uh, James Lavarello has obtained uh, four A stars and five A's but equally as important, I think we need to focus also on those boys who maybe were borderline cases between a D and a C grade, and they've managed to turn it over and, and obtain a C. In fact, uh, the number of boys who've ended up with um, five GCSEs from A star to C grade uh, has gone up to 51, which is fantastic. That means you know they, can, they have a choice now uh, to do what they, whatever they want to do in, as from September. Westside School also saw a rise in the pass rate, up 2% to 70%, with excellent results in dance and geography. Well, they've done exceptionally well. We've got 70% uh, students uh, that have got A to C grades, and we have 58% of students that have got A to C grades, including English and Maths. So both of those results are up on last year. Um, we've also got uh, our geography students have done exceptionally well, getting 92% uh, A star to C. And uh, music and textile departments have done really well as well. Course subjects have all done well, 
maths in particular, we have seen uh, increases in the percentage of girls that have got A star to C. Uh, and uh, this year, for the first time, we have our dance cohort has taken their, their first exams and we've got 40% A star and 100% A star to B. So exceptional grades. We're very, very pleased with them. And uh, some very good results on an individual level as well. Yes. There are three students who have got uh, nine A and A stars and six students who have got uh, A's, eight A's and A stars and B's, one B each. The principal of the Gibraltar College also said students had done very well, highlighting achievements in Spanish, travel and tourism and business. Generally I think they've done very well. Uh, we always sort of try and compare results from one year to the next and we, when we look at uh, last year's results and this year's results I think they're very much on a par. Uh, as always, you know, some subjects go up a little bit, others go down, but generally I would say that the, that the students have done well. Yeah, I, I, one thing that I think was important to stress also is that uh, obviously today we are celebrating success and there's a lot of focus obviously on grades. But I'd like to also note that we have students who have made huge improvements and uh, some students, for example, joined the college in September, passed possibly with U's or even E's in certain subjects, and then in a year that grade may go up to a, to a C or even a D. And it's important to recognize that for these students, that is a big achievement and they've made huge improvements. And we want to congratulate students who've also shown that they've, they've, they've progressed in, in the year they've been with us. As well as GCSEs, a number of students have also completed Level 1 and Level 2 courses, including certificates of personal effectiveness. Now it's time for students to choose their next steps, with support and advice offered by the schools, college and department for those wanting to repeat the exams, continue on to further qualifications or begin employment. Minister for Education Gilbert Ligudi said the increase in pass rates reflects a very positive trend, adding the department will continue to work closely with schools to identify areas for development and improvement to ensure every student achieves their absolute potential.